in Japan. Where is Mount Fuji again? In the clouds. Look at the autumn leaves. It's insane. This place is insane. in this beautiful beautiful town of Fujikawa Gochiko right at the base of Mount Fuji. To get to this town we hopped on the cutest red train in Tokyo and two hours later we were in Fujikawa Gochiko. The train is called Fuji Q Railway and the train ride costs 2500 yen per person which is 23 US dollars or 1600 rupees. It was really beautiful but we didn't get to see Mount Fuji from the train because of so many clouds in the sky. Mount Fuji is completely covered in clouds right now. We couldn't see him at all during the train ride here. It's shy. Is yeah. it a he or a she? I think mountains are generally she. In Japan? Yeah, but in, uh, it says, in Japan they refer to it as Fuji-san, which is... Fuji mountain? Yeah. San is respectful for men, so it? yeah, it's oh. Mister. Oh. So Fuji San is a sir, and he's shy. Yeah. So we're waiting for the clouds to move, which is not doesn't look like it's going to happen today. Maybe we'll be lucky tomorrow. Yeah, it's but already around uh, four o'clock, so yeah. the sunset happens at four thirty. So this will. So I don't think we are going to get to see Fuji today. But we are just excited to just walk around, exploring things, maybe finding some ramen. That's uh, Lake uh, Kawaguchiko. It's like the largest of the five lakes here around this area, and uh, you can basically bike around the whole. What are you doing? Nothing. What? I was holding it. My shoulder is breaking. Just keep talking. So basically, you can hire a bicycle and go around the lake. So I guess that's what we are going to do now. Let's go closer here. And of course, Suchi is doing her stories. And... There's a path downstairs, right there, so which you can, which goes around the lake, which you can walk, or you can cycle. I think the cycles are allowed there. Don't know. And uh, there's an island in the middle, which has this tiny little cute thingy. I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in. Anyway, so so yeah, this this is what we are going to explore today. There we go. Camping is pretty common in Japan, and of course they have a campsite here in right in front of the lake. Let me just show you guys. And and look at the look at the autumn leaves above. It's insane. This place is insane. It's amazing that we are able to see the fall colors here or as the locals call it, Koyo. It's so beautiful in Hokkaido. Uh, the, the fall was kind of on its way out like it was towards the end of autumn. But here it's kind of reaching its peak so you can see the orange, the reds, the yellows and it's golden. It's so beautiful. I don't know why we just planned one day here. I think we're going to stay a day more. It's just so beautiful. We haven't walked 10 meters from our guest house which is like right up there. I don't know how we're going to make it to the get our uh, cycles. Where is Mount Fuji again? In the clouds. That over there is Mount Fuji. You can't see it because it's got its head in the clouds. Usually me and Avi we love clouds. We are like yay we want clouds because clouds look so amazing in videos and time lapses. But now that we want to see Mount Fuji we are like clouds get the fuck off. 
Look at that tree. I want to shove my head in it. Crush type tree. I see a bicycle rental, so. Thank you, cute orange bike. I want a orange bike. Oh, so cute. One hour, five hundred. One day, one thousand. So, can we keep it overnight? Five. Yeah. So we decided to just walk, maybe find some food, and just explore what we see out the way. Yeah, and in uh, Google Maps, it's it said okay, there's ramen plays around. Yeah. So and of course we are like making our beeline to it. Yeah. So in like, Google Maps in Japan, you can see if there's ramen near you, or bento near you, bento near you, or a 7-Eleven near you. Yeah. The like, Google Maps in Japan is incredible. Priorities also. Yeah. <laughs> Like, do you want petrol? Do you want ramen? Do you yeah. want medicines? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, we want ramen. We see a convenience store. But no. Do you want to shop at the convenience store? No. Do you want the hot ramen? Yeah. There's the convenience store. That's Lawson. Lawson is actually. So, there's three convenience stores in. Uh, in Japan, there's Family Mart, Lawson, and 7 Eleven. My favorite, honestly, is Lawson. They have like way more variety of food and snacks and like really cute snacks. And I think Avi's favorite is 7 Eleven. Yeah, he's Team 7 Eleven, but uh, one day we'll do like a battle of the convenience stores and we'll see who wins. It's gonna be Lawson. That's my favorite uh, convenience store, 7 Eleven. If there was a battle of convenience stores, I'm sure 7 Eleven would, would win, and which is wrong, loss, and uh, But right now, a non participant is a ramen place which is right opposite has won. There are four types of ramen, shoyu, shio, miso and tonkatsu. We've tried all three of them, we haven't tried tonkatsu yet. Tonkatsu is a very like pork bone broth ramen with a little bit of soy sauce. I'm looking forward to trying that in the last next few days that we have in Japan. Shoyu ramen is a soy sauce based broth. It's one of the best, like I'm not surprised it's Abhi's favorite. Miso ramen is made with miso paste which is basically fermented soybean. Common ingredient in Japanese households, you'll see people have jars of miso ramen in their fridge. Miso is my favorite and I like that it's spicy and also kind of salty and tiny. This is gyoza. Gyoza is a Japanese dumpling and it's my first time trying it. Okay, let's go for, get back to ramen. So there's different types of noodles as well. We usually prefer the thin ones to the slightly more fatter ones. This is going to be amazing. I can't wait to try this. Recognize this emoji. It's a, it's a fish cake. It tastes kind of like nothing actually. And soaked in the ramen is kind of the texture is so soft. I like this weird spiral thing. Ah, my first gyoza in Japan. I'm so excited for this. It's basically like a pan grilled dumpling. It's not like regular dumplings which are steamed. You can see that it's grilled on this side. It's a pork filling, pork spring onion filling. Okay, okay. Holy shit. Where has this been all my life? So finished our food. It was so good but it was so spicy. My nose is running. But so delicious. After that spicy and satisfying dinner, we hung out in our Hirokya until it was time to go to sleep. Doesn't that campsite look tempting though? <laughs> 
The next morning, we woke up to this beautiful view of the lake. There was a lot of mist, but we were still hopeful for a glimpse of Mount Fuji. So we decided to go to the roof and see if we were in luck. Fingers crossed. I'll look at the lake. That's Mount Fuji. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm getting to see it. Uh, I don't know how long the clouds will stay away, but it looks like there is a giant cloud floating by soon. Oh, but I can't see it. We came up for a walk and the clouds have already rolled in. I'm hoping it clears like later in the day, around midday or something. What do you think? That's unlikely. Okay, that's always next year in the summer. If it clears in the midday, then uh, we'll get to see it from the lake. That's it for this episode. Stay tuned for episode 2 where we cycle around the lake and have a really special Japanese experience. Please like this video and share it with someone who might enjoy it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.